Hey guys, what is up? I'm going to be doing my week 14 NFL predictions. Last week, I went 10 and 5. Not my best, not my worst. Um, now, I didn't notice this until like a day or two after I uploaded um, week 13. That I said week 13 in the title and everything, but in the um, thumbnail, it said week 12. That's my fault, my bad. Uh... I'll pay attention to that in the future. So, on Thursday night, we have the Raiders taking on the Chiefs. Okay. Now, with this game, the Raiders just beat the Bills, and it looked like the Bills were going to win. And then the Raiders went and scored 29 unanswered points. And again, Khalil Mack got the strip sack and recovered the fumble as well. He's just a monster. Um, and the Chiefs did just have that big win in Atlanta. Eric Berry got a pick six, and he got, um, when Atlanta went for two, he picked it off and returned it. So he scored eight points. That's impressive. Okay, so I'm going to say that the Raiders win. Even though they're in Kansas City, and Kansas City is a very good team, I think the Raiders win. All right. Ooh. Okay. Straight off the bat. Now, I'm actually going to this game. I'm going to be there. The Steelers at the Bills. I'm a Steelers fan, and they don't come to Buffalo often. Last year, they were here for a preseason game, but I don't think Ben played, like, at all. I got to see Mike Vick play, but... I don't think Ben played that much, if at all. No, he played some. I remember that. He did play some. But now it's a full game that I get to see the Steelers play. I get to see Antonio Brown, Le'Veon Bell, and Ben Roethlisberger all play. And now Ladarius Green is coming into the mix, and it's going to be a fun game. That defense is finally coming together. And Buffalo, like I just said, they did lose to the Raiders. That's got to hurt. Um, and actually the Bills offense is a little weird. They are the top running def or running offense in the NFL, not the Cowboys. People think, oh no, Ezekiel Elliott gets like a hundred and some uh, rushing yards every game. But the Bills are actually ahead of the Cowboys. But they have the worst passing offense. So they're number one rushing, number 32 passing. That could be from the time Sammy Watkins was out or anything like that. Um, though, I'm going to say the Steelers win. I wouldn't pay $150 for a ticket if I didn't think they were going to win. I mean, you know, if it, I probably would have bought the cheapest one just to go. But I, I got a really nice seat. It was a little more expensive, but it's a really nice seat. And uh, yeah, 150 bucks. NFL games are they're expensive. The preseason, if your team is, let's say you like a team that's not your local team, and then your favorite team comes um, for the preseason, go. They're, I mean, you can get a really nice seat for 50 bucks. Not that much. Uh, okay, so you have the Broncos and the Titans. Uh, the Titans have been playing well this season. You know, last season they played awful. They had the number one pick, traded it away, and now look at them. I'm going to say Denver wins, though. Uh, Redskins and Eagles. I'm going to say the Redskins win. Okay, uh, Cardinals and Dolphins. Uh, the Dolphins did lose their six-game win streak. Damn, because they faced the Ravens, and the Ravens are in my division, and I needed the Dolphins to win. But they disappointed me, to say the least. Uh, the Cardinals, they're not the same team they were last year. I think they've done better this year than 
um, some expect it to, you could say. Because the way their season started, people thought, oh my god, they're only going to get like five wins this year. And they're going to... They're going to do a lot better than that. I think they'll end maybe 500. So, maybe. Wait, what's their... Uh, I don't even know what their record is. Here. Now, because my computer won't let me edit. I don't know why, but it's just my laptop. The Cardinals, as soon as it loads. Here, while I wait for that. So, Cardinals beat the Dolphins. Uh, the Vikings against the Jags. The Jags just suck this year. They sucked last year. They suck this year. Uh, Vikings win. So, Texans and Colts. Uh, the Colts just dominated the Jets last night and I don't think they're going to have a repeat performance of that and I actually picked the Texans to beat the uh, Packers and someone commented on last week's predictions you know you're crazy I'm like okay I valued the opinion and I thought well last time I was told I was wrong I ended up being right so let's see how this works out and I was wrong. So, the one I was right and someone said I was wrong was me picking the Chargers over the Texans, and I picked the Texans over the Packers, and the Texans lost. So I'm picking the Colts. Three-game losing streak. Let's do it. Uh, Chargers and Panthers. Oh, God. Panthers got spanked. Just bend over and take it by the uh, Seahawks Chargers are gonna win I know things change week from week but the Panthers just aren't that good this year Bengals and Browns Browns are coming off their bye probably still lost somehow um, you know this Pee Wee sock almost said soccer Pee Wee no you know what Pee Wee soccer they had soccer players play football for one game against the Browns. It ended 30-3. to Pee-wee. Um, but I don't think that bye week's going to help the Browns. Bengals are probably going to win. Uh, Bears and Lions. The Lions are going to win. They are doing really well this year. I think two of the top candidates for MVP are Matt Stafford and Derek Carr. Obviously, Derek's a little higher than Stafford, but just just a little. Uh, Jets and 49ers. Don't even bother watching this game. Don't bother. Um, Jets are starting Bryce Petty. 49ers want to stick with Colin Kaepernick. Uh, is really anyone going to win that game? Can I say tie? I mean, I could call a tie, but then if they don't tie, I'd be wrong. Jets. Uh, let's see. Uh, the Saints and the Bucks. I'm actually going to say the Bucks win. I don't know why. Got a feeling. Got a feeling. Uh, Falcons and Rams. Falcons. Not sure if there's really any debate about that. Uh, Seahawks and Packers. I'm going to pick the Seahawks. I don't care that the Packers beat the Texans. Seahawks win. And we finish it out. Or, no, we're not finishing it out, right? Uh, you got the Cowboys and the Giants on Mon Sunday night. Damn it. Sunday night, you have the Cowboys and the Giants. Now, the Giants did beat them week one. That is the Cowboys' sole loss, is week one. And, you know, Dak was, he was like a rookie. He ha 
that, but since then he's really become a good player. And I just think overall, even though they have a few injuries, the Cowboys are a better team than they were. And the Giants, they just got some injuries facing the Steelers. I mean, Eli threw two picks against the Steelers, and they're not a great defense. Um, and then you have Odell, who got one target, one catch for 10 yards in the first half. And then they really started targeting Odell in the uh, second half. But, I mean, Jason Pierre-Paul went down um, to, I think their top two um, nose tackles or um, big run stuff uh, defensive linemen got hurt. Um, Eric Flowers is a terrible left tackle. He was holding James Harrison all night. And the only one that got called was uh, where he grabbed the helmet, right? Like, here-ish. Which led to the safety. Um, I'm going to say the Cowboys win this time. I don't know if the Cowboys are going to lose another game this season until, you know, you get into the playoffs and then it's, okay, who can beat the Cowboys before they get to the Super Bowl? Because when they get to the Super Bowl, if they have to face the Patriots or the Raiders, like a team like that, watch out. Um, then on Monday night, <laughs> you got the Ravens and the Patriots. The Patriots are going to win. Um, so if Steelers win and Patriots win, then the Steelers are sole first place in the AFC North. Um, so I really need the Patriots to win. People who hate the Patriots are going to be like, why do you want the Patriots to win? Blah, blah, blah. It's, it helps me. Okay, because the Steelers aren't going to get the number one seed. Or even like the number two seed. They're going to stay really at the third seed. Third or fourth seed, depending on what happens. Um, and, you know, they have to win that division for that. So, Patriots win. Um, that is it for week 14. Again, uh, comment if you agree, if you disagree. I really like to know what you guys think. And you know, you know what? Someone said, you're crazy for picking the Texans over the Packers. They were right. So guess what? I'm not picking the Texans this week. I'm not sure if I would have. But I'm definitely not. So I value the opinions of everyone that comments. Um, leave a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And I will talk to you guys soon. Later.